So hello and welcome to my channel. Age is just a number and my name is Barbara Jean. This is a channel for women over 40, over 50, over 60, over 70 and beyond who have a love of fashion and beauty. So if this is a channel that you think you might find interesting, please hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell next to it. You'll be notified of every video that I make. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means everything that you come to spend a few minutes out of your busy day with me. So today, um, it's a little different. What I wanted to um, share with you is my weekly spa night that I do for myself. You know, this is February and it is the month of love and um, we have to love ourselves. So a lot of the ladies have been for quite a while and here my, my friends here on YouTube do what's called Mask Monday and to where they share their love of skincare to where they're doing a mask and then they talk about different things. Um, I do mask uh, a lot at home too. Um, so I thought I would share because I get so many compliments on my skin and I am heading closer and closer to 63. So I thought that this would be just an opportunity for me to share with you how I do my weekly spa night. There are things that um, other things that I do um, that I do do once a month. So that could be a totally separate video if you want that. But these are this is just my weekly spa night that I do for myself. So if you want to see my weekly spa night, hang tight and we'll get started on it right away. Here we are for my the beginning of my spa night. I'm going to show you what I do. So um, I'm actually sitting in the tub, and I'm trying not to not I'm be very careful, not show anything. Um, I am soaking in a hot bath, and uh, it is with the Dr. Teal's Epsom salt and with lavender uh that's my favorite and i've got it as hot as i can stand it so we'll see but um uh, i'm gonna kind of i've already washed my face but what i've got sitting on it right now is what i washed it with which is the glycolic acid uh 15 percent um cleansing solution. Uh, Dr. Ma Ma Mario, I'll put it in, in the link below before. It's it's very inexpensive. It's like $15 at Ulta, but I always have it on stock. So, and of course, can you see what I always have to have here for my spa night? Because it's hot in this tub, but I do have a cool glass of Chardonnay. Mm. So, while I do, of course I'm falling down into the tub, you can't see it. What I like to do is, oh, sorry, we're getting so close here. Um, 
I like to play some music while I'm sitting in the tub and soaking. And the music I like to listen to is, um, there's several ones. Um, one of them is Amy Winehouse. And another one that I absolutely adore is um, uh, oh my god, I just went brain dead. It's the hot water, I think. Um, St. Paul and the Broken Bones. If y'all have not listened to them, and if you like some jazz music, oh my god, you have got to listen to them. <laughs> It's just so cool. So I'm gonna kick back here and listen to some music. And I'm gonna let this uh, glycolic acid, which is a great cleanser, but it's a great exfoliant too. So I like to let it sit on my face for probably about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna kick back here and have some wine and uh, listen to some good music, and I'll be back in just a little bit and show you my next step. Okay, so I am out of the bathtub, and I am hot as a dick, and so I turned on the ceiling fan in here in my bathroom. Thank goodness, huh? <laughs> so, sorry. Um, all right, and I've got some water here. Ice water. But I also have my glass of wine that I'm sipping on. A nice cool Chardonnay. I set that over here. All right. So I was going to show you what this is Mario Bestagio. This is a glycomic flaming cleanser that I was using. And this is glycolic uh, 15%. So this is what I used to cleanse my skin and then let it sit on there while I was in the bathtub. And I also, let's see, I was listening to some Amy, but I also listened a little bit to Tracy Chapman. Uh-huh, yeah. Give me one reason to stay here and I'll turn right back around. Oh, yeah. I sing in the bathtub. Yes, I do. So, so if you can see what I've got going on here is my little steamer and I put my distilled water in here. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to give my face a steam facial and I'm going to listen to some more music and then oh, sip on some wine and then I'll come back around here in just a few when this is done and show you my next step. All right, so I just finished doing the steam and it is so relaxing. And that's why I like to put on some of my favorite music. And one of the ones I just put on was Etta James and where I'd rather go blind and it's just like, oh God, I just sit there and get lost in it, just get lost in it. So, okay, so we're back here. I have done my steaming and so what I'm gonna do right now is and this is my like I said my weekly uh, facial so I'm gonna do uh, this is one of my favorite things that I love to buy and this is a uh, the uh, Derma E hydrating mist so it's hyaluronic acid rose water and coconut water in a spray and I'm just going to now that my face has been steamed and it's primed, the pores are open. Oh. Yes, of course it doesn't help to cool down either. <laughs> okay, uh, all right, so, of course it's time for a sip of wine too. Mm. All right, so that's, we've got this going on. Oh. All right. So, there are times that, okay, this is just a weekly. I do different things once a month as well, too. So, this is just my weekly. So, for the weekly, I do what's called a cosmetic micro needling, which is a roller, micro roller. And this is a 0.25 roller. 
and I have a bottle, a spray bottle of alcohol. So I'm going to spray it over here. So 0.25 is one of the smallest ones you can get. So uh, since my pores are open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just kind of lightly rolling. And this doesn't hurt at all. I mean, this is just so mild, so mild. But because the pores are open and it's just going to prick the skin just a little bitty bit, this is even mild enough to go on my lips. I'm going to do it on my lips one way. And I do it another way. I'll do it diagonally. And do it this way. So, and then I basically do my face. I just kind of go all over it, you know. And I do it one way. And I do it another way. Do it diagonally. But this is just pricking little bitty fine holes. And this does not hurt by any shape or form. You can see it's getting a little bit of red. So I'm going to do the same to the forehead. And this, I, I feel comfortable getting enough up around my eyes. Now I have been going, and I'm oh, sorry, I have been getting uh, occasionally micro, um, um, what is it, skin pen, which is where you go to an esthetician and they do it you know, with the pen. And it just pokes little bitty holes in your skin, much deeper than this, but it allows, once you break that skin, it'll let your, your, the, your skin's automatic reflex is to rebuild itself. And when it's doing that, it's producing collagen. So, so yeah. So this is just a little once a week thing that I do. And it doesn't take long at all. Okay, now when I'm done, I'm going to take a little bit more of that hyaluronic acid. And I'm just going to lightly spray it again. I buy these by the multiples because <laughs> I love it. I use it every morning and every night as well, too. So, ah. Uh. All right. So, well, that is doing it. I'll clean this before I go to bed and let it sit. All right. So, now that this is little, little bitty tiny holes have been poked into my skin. Okay. So, this is just a once a week, like I said. All right, I'm going to make a little concoction here, a little bit of uh, uh, co uh, copper peptides, a little bit of, um, what is this, uh, rever it's ferulic acid and reverosterol and, I'm just, uh, let's see, open this one here too. One of the best things I love to use is my frankincense oil. Um, but I'm going to say this. I'm going to mix this with my moisturizer at the end. But I'm going to take a little bit of the um, retinoid. Now, this is just a very, very mild version. So I'm going to take just a, just a touch, just a very small touch of that. And I'm going to mix it with the Revestrol. A little bit of oil there. Rub it through. Oh, and the copper peptides. I put the pop copper peptides on there too. I'm sorry. So, uh, and I'm just going to run that through my face. Kind of let that soak up. All right. Now I'm going to take a nighttime moisturizer, which right now I'm actually using this all up. Um, 
till I get this all done. I don't want to waste it. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Night Moisturizer. So there's not a whole lot left in here. So I'm going to um, take a little bit here in my hand. Actually, kind of a good amount. And I'm going to take a little bit of my frankincense oil. Frankincense oil is very good for inflammation. So I'm going to mix the two together. And I'm just going to slather this on. Now, what I do once a month is a lot different. Once a month, I use a another roller that is 0.5, which is twice of that one. And I will do the same treatment, except with that one, it's 0.5. And, but only once a month. Because when I do that, I will add um, my Retin-A to it. Now, I use Retin-A. I have a prescription. And I use this because I've been using it for, for quite a while, many years. <laughs> but I only use it a couple of times a week. So, but what I will do when once a month... I will use my 0.5 roller to do a little bit deeper penetration of the holes and then I'll do my little concoction and in, instead of a little, uh, just a mild retinol that I put in here, I will use this and letting after I poke those holes, I will make my concoction and put this in there with it. Now what that does is it will cause um, uh, a more intense, I will use intense. So for a couple of days, and I always plan this ahead of time, is it causes uh, the, my skin to, to, um, to rejuvenate and to peel a bit. And so it is, it's a little, I don't want to say unsightly, but it's definitely different. But it, after it does that, it's like a snake skinning, uh, shedding its skin. Once it does that, my skin is always so smooth. But that's just once a month that I do that. So, but this is once a week that I do this. So, so my skin is completely ready to go to bed with all these good things on it. Now, uh, in the morning, what I will get up and do is, as I am having um, my coffee, I will probably put on a mask, and or even some eye mask, and let that sit in as well too, to kind of coincide with this. So, it isn't just a, a once a week masking that I do, it is more of a treatment that I do to help my skin um, maintain um, the the properties and uh, where it has I'm trying to what am I trying to say what it has achieved and how it does look so but that's what I do so I just wanted to share that with you so um, so that is it so I'm going to say cheers to you and uh, I'll be back with you here in just a moment. All right, so that wraps up this little video. I hope you enjoyed um, my little weekly spa night and I hope that it inspires you to do some self-love and to, um, you know, do what feels good to you and enjoy a nice relaxing evening and do something for yourself because that's what it's about. So ladies, I'm going to leave you here. Thank you so much again for spending a few minutes of your time with me. I greatly appreciate it. And, and I'm going to leave you and tell you what, what I tell you every single time. 
Ladies, every day, every stinking day, get up and show up because you are worth it. So until I see you in my next video, have a very safe and a very blessed day.